This one, one, this is, is the, the uh, uh, A, B, 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 and then and you then have, have a, a wait, wait, here you did not get A, 3, 1, one and, and here is A, 3, 2, two and, and here is A, 3, 3. So you can expand, find out the determinant by expanding the Matrix, matrix along the row three. three. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then here, here will be what? what? A little case A three one. one. And, and little case A three two. two. And little case A three three. You may you find, find out capital, capital case A three one cofactor, cofactor A three two and cofactor A three three. But we don't really need it. It's because here we all have a zero. Ah, zero times anything is zero. So you don't really need to find out A31. You know zero times this quantity will be zero. Zero times this cofactor A32 will be zero. And zero times cofactor A33 will be zero. Zero plus zero plus zero is zero. So if one column is zero, the determinant for sure will be zero. Okay? And if one, uh, here is one row is zero, then the whole uh, determinant will be zero. If the elements in one column is zero, then the determinant will be zero too. Okay? The reason is the same. All right. Now, uh, another theorem. Another theorem right here is that if A is invertible, then the determinant cannot be zero. And here is the reason. Recall this one. Ah, we did before. Previously, in order to find out the inverse of this matrix, we put identity matrix are on the right hand side of this one. After you have done some elementary operations, you want here is one, here is zero, here is zero, is one. Okay, one, zero, zero, one. You want left hand side to be an identity matrix. But under the raw elementary operations, what you get is that this row is zero. If this row is zero, then you are not, not able, able to claim this is the inverse matrix of A. Of a. Okay, because here is supposed to be one, one, but you can, can never get, get one here. here. So, so the inverse of A does, does not exist. exist. Okay. That's, that's why, why we say what? That's, that's why, why we say uh, if, if A is invertible, if A is invertible, then the matrix, uh, the determinant of the matrix cannot be zero. Okay. If it's not zero, then A will be invertible. Okay. This is just a no. We didn't strictly prove this theorem, but uh, let's accept this fact. Okay. No. Something more. It, it appears, appears that, that to find, find out the determinant, determinant is, a is a very complicated, complicated thing. thing. It, it actually is not. not. Look, Look, you can, you also, can also find out the determinant, determinant by using this way. This is the matrix, matrix A. Eh? 3, 6, negative 10, and 0, 6, 2, and negative 2, 7, 0. This is 3 by 3 matrix. Eh? Three by three, three matrix. matrix. So how so do you how find out the determinant? You, you put the column one here, here three, three zero, zero negative two, two from here, here three, three zero, zero negative two. two. And you put and another, another column, column six, six, six seven, seven right, right here. here. Okay. So basically, so basically you write you down. down the original, the original matrix, matrix and then, and then add, add two, two more columns. Column one. 
because, because here, here of a, a colon, colon two, two right, right here. here. Now you now do, you do is three six zero times three six zero three times six times zero plus three times two times negative two plus you go this direction. Okay? Negative ten times zero times seven. And then minus minus this direction. Okay, minus what? Negative two times zero times negative ten. Okay. And then minus seven times two times three. So this direction always minus. And then minus again minus zero times zero times six. Okay? Uh, this way you also get the determinant and it's much easier and quicker. Okay? So you see 3 times 6 times 0 is 0 and 6 times 2 times negative 2 is negative 24 and there is a 0 here so you have here is 0. The whole thing is 0. And then negative, negative, negative you have a negative 2 times 6 times 10 120. So negative 120. Minus 7 times 2 times 3 is negative 42. Okay? And then minus 0 times anything is 0. You can see negative 24, negative 120, negative 42. This is negative 186. So it's the same as when we see before there was that. Right? You see? Negative 126. Negative 126. Okay? So, so here, here what, what we got is that in order to find out 3 by 3, three uh, you can expand the matrix along any row. Here is the row 1. Or any column. Here is column 2. Yeah, and they will have, have the same months. Oh, we're doing, doing this way. way. Okay, yeah, this, this way, way probably is the easiest way. way. And the uh, uh, for, for this, this is three, three by three. three. For four, four by four, four is the same way. way. Okay, yeah, you may add like, like three more columns if it's four by four. four. Uh, here, here is 2 by 2, two. Uh, uh, here, here is 3 by 3, three you add two, 2 more. If, if it's 4 by 4, you add 3 more. Okay. And here, here is also, also the same. The determinant of row 4, uh, of four, four by four, 4 is defined based on the uh, matrix. The determinant of a matrix, matrix with 3 by 3. Here you can see here, here is 3 by 3, three matrix, matrix is defined based on uh, 2 by 2. two. You see, see that? that? Okay. Yeah. So, so for 4 by 4, four that's, that's defined based on 3 by 3. Uh, you uh, may uh, read, uh, read the book, book yourself, yourself about that. that. But the way is the same. same. Okay. 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 So, so this, this lecture is basically about finding the determinant. Determinant. Of a matrix. For two by two, it's easy. easy. For three by three, that's uh, basically based on the two by two. two. And then, and then for four by four, four uh, uh, that's basically based on three by three. three. Or oh, you may do it um, this, this way. way. Okay? okay? So, so I, will I will see you, see you next time. time.